hello there okay so you might be able to see what's in front of me just here and it's my collection or a amount of my collection of mobility balls so you might find sometimes that stretching just isn't enough you might feel like you need a little something extra and you might not know where to go for that what to do with that so i thought i would just give you a little bit of a, an example of how you could use any ball um, these mobility balls have got a little bit are a little bit harder but you could use a dog ball it's clean you could use a tennis ball or anything like that to get started with this um, and these ones so these ones are quite good so they're um, you know quite good and you can get a good grip around them um, and they're quite solid for when you put a little bit of weight in them and you can gently put your weight into them more you get spiky variations of those so they're very good for like uh, forearms, so you can get into your forearm, you can scrub around in there a little bit, and you can do um, plantar, so getting on the bottom of your feet with these is really, really good, especially I find in my heel here, very, uh, especially after running or a lot of walking. Um, then you've got these style, which are quite good um, for getting into here sort of things, you can then kind of come and lean onto them a little bit like this and just then maneuver through brings you off the ground or you can do it against the wall um, and then these ones I haven't had a massive play around with this one um, as of yet because it's literally only just arrived but it's quite good for kind of scrubbing tissues like this one is but in a little bit of a slightly gentler way and it's slightly larger you will see than other ones so it's quite a good thing but you can also get a lot of um, different movements going on and, and different and things like that so you can kind of move tissues around so if you're here and move backwards and forwards and round you get a lot of different things going on so i just thought i would go through those if you've got one at home and you don't know what to do with it this is going to be a starting point so i'm just going to show you a couple of things around the legs area um, and then we will go into some more detail over time with these um, if you've kind of bought them and then don't know what to do with them okay so i'm going to just grab um, the kind of normal one pop these to the side and we're just going to go through and i'm going to bring it underneath oh, i've got back leggings on let's use the red one and you can see the ball so i'm just going to bring it into underneath my thigh there so I can then straighten my leg completely. I just shuffle this way slightly, um, and we'll do it here. So uh, you can sort of just move around a little bit, sort of backwards and forwards on it. So see if you can find anything that you kind of need to maybe put a little bit more pressure in. You can rotate your foot backwards and forwards on it to it. But what you need to do if you're kind of feeling like oh that you know you know somewhere's tense and tight and uncomfortable is to contract and relax it first before anything. So get yourself into a position where we can breathe in and contract. So you can see how my leg is tight in here, my foot is flexed and then relax onto the ball a little bit more and just relax onto there. And then you can do that again if you find a trigger point, contract, hold, 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 and then relax. And that contract is kind of putting tension in and then as you relax, you're letting your body know that it's kind of okay and it gets that flow into that area. Okay, so calves might be one that we feel a little bit more. So let me put it underneath my calf as well. So in there, instantly feels more uncomfortable than in my hamstrings. So if I contract there, really, oh, there we go, I found something there. Let's just, so normally you can roll around in there so we can just there, then we can do that trigger point, contract, relax, contract, hold, 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 relax. And if we find another spot, through. So we'll do the same just there. Hold, 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 contract, hold. So you can just do that and it's not about that you're doing massive areas if you can feel like i have got had a um a, a, an area here that's been very uncomfortable so you can bring the ball in you can also just move it around a small area of sort of tension like that and you're not going to be able to put 
um, a massive amount of tension into that. You're not going to be able to put yourself in a massive amount of pain. So you're not going to injure yourself. So just be mindful of that. You can put, you can give yourself a do a lot, but you're not going to do um, too much damage. But if you feel like it's uncomfortable, you want a bit of advice, and obviously go go and get that. Don't go off me, and I'll have a person you can contact on that if you so wish. So you also can kind of turn the ball. So once you've placed it, we can roll it around underneath our hand, but we can also kind of grip and turn. So if you just move things around a little bit more, just wind the tissues up a little bit as we do that in different areas. If you've got a tight area, we can come down to do that in the ankle area. So we can just get that moving a little bit more there. And then I'm going to just switch to the spiky ball because you can bring that underneath your heel and just roll around and there we go. Roll around a little bit. Just roll around. You can bring it under. Now this feels really nice. So you can, if you're standing, this obviously will go a lot deeper. So from this position, you'll have got a lot more control about the amount of pressure that you're putting in. You can also do it sat off the sofa again, you'll be given the same amount of control. You just move around for as long as it feels good. And you're going to get bored. Just scrub it around down the sides. Right, down both sides. Just take your time. Let's go to the other side on this foot. Obviously you're going to go through and do the same on both sides. One side will always feel more difficult than the other, or more challenging, more stiff, whatever you want to say. But yeah, okay. You'll feel the difference. We're just, we've been on for about six minutes. We've been going. So we'll feel a real difference. So if you want a bit of advice, obviously there's lots of these on Amazon, but just whether you want the right ones and what you need for what you're doing. But yeah. Grab yourself a mobility ball. Enjoy.